Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I've been continuing to work on this uh, Sitejack system. Um, I actually did a complete and total overhaul of the system since the first time you saw it. Um, there was actually a very big problem with this, uh, this big uh, site detector box uh, from last time. It was actually just continuing to point straight up when in fact it was not following the front of the character as it should have done so it was actually producing some incorrect results with uh where sites are in relation to the character and in relation to the to the stick but now it is completely overhauled and working correctly this time um as you can see in the scene we still have our shibito here our other shibito here and our main character, I add a little bit of uh, fog and some rain just for a little bit of ambience. Um, but the difference, the, the big difference between this iteration of the prototype and the first one, the last one, um, is that now uh, we have the ability to actually save sites um, to our... Uh, main face buttons, that being X, square, triangle, and circle. Uh, so now if we sight jack, it goes to static, and we can now detect our cameras just like that. There's the second one, back to the first one, just like that. I added this little crouch animation as just a placeholder animation for sight jacking. So now if we go to a site, like let's say um, second one here, and I were to want to save it to square, as you can see in the bottom right, um, it is now saved to square. And if I wanted to save a different site to that button instead of this one, I could just simply go back and there's our first site, and if I were to press square, as you can see, it overwrites it with that one. And then if we were to go to the static and we were to press square, it brings up that site. And then, as, a, as another note, it works exactly as it does in the first game. Um, if we were to leave Site Jack on a site like this, so there I've left it, and then when we go back in, that site that we were on is still there. And then, if we were to go back to the static, go out of Site Jack and go back in, and goes to static. And as you can see um, from the actual game itself, you can only save one site um, to a face button. There are no duplicates. So. If I wanted to, say, um, put this site on circle instead of square, just simply press circle, and it will move just like that. And uh, Dreadnought was the guy who actually helped me out with that. Um, I'm kind of bad with arrays, but he was able to steer me in the right direction. So thank you, sir, for, for that uh, lovely advice. And we can even save multiple sites. So if we go to the second one, and I want to save uh, the second site here, simply do that, and the list updates in the bottom right with both sites. So now, if I were to go out of Site Jack, go back in, and now I want to check both of my sites. So as you can see, I have one on X and one on circle so if i were to press x it goes to that site if i were to press circle it goes to that site yeah so that's it um i plan to add a couple more things uh namely the um the r1 button uh automatically going to an alerted uh, shibito site i want to add that and uh, the blue and green and red crosshairs, I'm going to add that next. That's just a little bit of cosmetic stuff. And uh, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of at the moment. Definitely a better character controller, of course. And who knows? Maybe 
uh, some kind of game will come out of this. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody.